And apparently we have a Demon Maul, which kind of reminds me of the game Space Marine. And we have the Lightning Claw guy. You can kind of see how everything goes together. <clears throat> it should give you some kind of idea, unless the numbers are correct, which are usually not. So... Yeah. That is how this stuff works. And the Hellbrute. I think that's the finish on me. Yeah. He's in a whole lot of parts. I think I forgot to show the head. Earlier. So. Yep. And then the main rule book. It says read this first. But I'm not going to read this first. Because I don't know. I'm not going to go through the main rule book in detail. But. You can kind of see how thick it is. Really handy. And it has all the stuff you need. You got pictures, but you don't really have too many of them. You got some examples, some text. Uh, you got some artwork, but not like in the ru large rule book. But that doesn't really fit in the pocket. And they still have the old example from the 5th edition here. So. Damn defocusing. Yeah, you have the house rules, you have the principles, you have the blast templates, you have everything here. But I want a real one to show you. Here's some concept art at least. Some Eldar stuff, Orc stuff. Um, let's see if I can't find Psychers. They've changed a lot in the 6th edition. Some concept art. Uh, oh, also, Mysterious Terrain. Um, also, Mysterious Forests. Um, that Battlefield of Breeze, blah blah blah. Warlord Traits. That's also in the handy book, rule book. Really useful. And also you have these, Aegis Defend Lines. You can, sh you can actually buy these for your own units. In your own armies. To your own devious needs. And you can also make up your own scenarios, of course. Uh, and here are the mys Mysterious Objectives. Um, let's see here. That's the reference profiles. Does it say hull points anywhere? Please, let me know. I haven't actually found that yet. Yep, hull points, hull points, hull points. Great. <coughs> let's see here. Here you have the... What's his face? Missions. Um, let's see here. No, we've already been here, sorry. Uh, you have the normal maps, I guess you could call it. And... Uh, where are the Psyche Powers? Those are the ones I want to show you. Because they are so super awesome. Uh, ah, screw it. Whatever, the Allies, the Matrix, and Psyche Powers are in this book as well. Now, for this one, the most interesting one. And, sadly, you can see how the light kind of goes along as I... Move the camera. You have the how to play, and this is coming with every edition I can think about. From 4th to 6th now, I guess. You have some concert arts. And the old intro. It's always been there. And you have these. Oh. This kind of intro. And they're not always that helpful, but for new people especially, but I was thinking about making a tutorial for 40k because I gotta get back to the basics myself. So this they can show you how the main idea of the battle goes. You can also play missions, they're actually really good for teaching you how to, to play. So, yes, measuring, they're talking about measure, measuring and chaos movement phase, Oop. chaos shooting phase, and they have some examples here, you have the Cultists shooting at the Space Marines, and they talk about First Blood, they talk about weapon range, another, some other stuff, and some narrative crap here. They, Games Workshop, really like their stuff, and they got some kind of to be continued. Dun, dun, dun. Shooting continued. So, this is the mark for advanced, uh, an advanced rule. So here you have some uh, arrows pointing everywhere, like fire, these guys shoot over there, these guys run, 
and they explain each phase uh, always. Ah, each phase step by step. So that that's kind of helpful. Um, then they also talk about close combat, and charging, and Overwatch, which is kind of essential now in sixth edition when assaulting Rio got nerfed. So you got some more stuff. I got allocating wounds. You got the piling. You got the attacks. And you got how the selection works. You gotta kill the guys in close up, close guys and everything. Um, you have some more stuff over here, more stuff over here. And it was, they also talk about results and falling back and cutting sweep in advance. And then they talk about movement and how the jet bikes move. For example, locked in combat as the status of these guys are. And these guys are deep striking, and they explain how that works, and these guys are moving up, and they explain how that works. And now for the shooting phase. Uh, you got normal stuff, really. Some of them are mostly really handy when they talk about this. The plasma cannon, let's see here. To attack the dark unit's plasma cannon, take the special blast marker, and place it the enemy model. Then roll the scatter dice. If you roll a hit on the shot, it lands directly to the target. If you roll an arrow, the shot scatters in the direction of the arrow. To find out how far the shot scatters, roll two dice and subtract the ballistic skill of the shooter. The result is how far you move the marker. The unit suffers a number of totally equal hits on the same number of the guys underneath the crap. Yeah, they talk about going to ground, and that's just an example to show how obvious they show things. And talk about invulnerable saves and ignoring armor. And here is the Hellbrute. Then again, he's just a normal dreadnought. And what I really prefer is if they had a tank in this as well. Yes, to show that walkers and tanks are quite different. Um, they talk about more stuff: consolation, falling back, turbo boosting, shooting, um, and of course, continuing. Some narrative stuff. Uh, missions. And here we see just how they explain how the missions work, so go ahead and pause the video if you want to read it. That should give you enough time. And mission number one. I actually really like this narrative because this mission is kind of like they're trying to stop the Hellbrew from going insane because they need him. And they can't destroy him, but they really need to keep him alive. And we also have the... This is kind of a... Ravenwing trying to get back to the battlefield. But they get ambushed by Chaos Cultists. And this is a, another ambush, but these are normal Dark Angels getting ambushed. You got some of the artwork here. And you got some of the game lane thing. This is mostly just explanations. And they are talking about the Librarian and Reserves here. And here is the Firefight, one of the final missions. Uh... This is where the first uh, thing where the total gets kicked in, I guess. They talk about victory points. And um, deployment. But something really missed out this. I don't think the points are balanced. I think the Dark Angels have few, a lot of more points over. And this, I haven't really read about this yet. But I know it's some kind of objective. And here is the all the ads, I guess you could call it. Yes, keep talking about that. And here you have the names and pictures. Sadly, that this did not come with a kind of how to, how to paint. They really should have thought about that. But otherwise, I do, I do like this book because it's, well, it's very th thorough and they explain a whole lot in it. And hopefully I didn't bore you too terribly with this tutorial. Thank you for watching and uh, I will see you next time.